and from the depths of my big black chocolate beautiful soul, I leapt for that chicken and looked him straight in his face. And now I know you guys didn't think that I was going to make you wait two months for this video. If you haven't seen part one, I would go and watch that before watching this. I don't want you to get spoiled, and I also want you to understand what's happening in the story. Shout out to Red Boys Animations for helping me get this video out on time. You guys need to go check him out and give him a big old but true thank you. Hit the bell button, and I'll see you guys after the video. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I'm not trying to be that guy. But the movie starts in like 30 minutes, and you two didn't even buy your tickets yet. I'm just out of here. Look, I'm we're not going to the movies with you. We're just dropping you off. But I swear if you don't remove your hand from my shoulder while I'm peeing, I will leave you stranded here in your socks with nothing more than a bag of apples to eat from, pissing, shitting, and sleeping for the next two weeks. It's just like on the show, but even in real life, you guys have this kind of humorless aura about you. And that's what makes it funny. <laughs> you know, I love it. It's so... <laughs> Now son, a chicken can be a wild bird, so the first thing you want to do is corner it and make it afraid of you. They take one more time to coach me through how this is going to work, but I can barely hear them because I'm too busy converting my lunch into fear and shitting that fear into my pants. I walk into the chicken cage and her father closes the gate behind me. Okay True, we are really fucking doing this. I start like talking to myself and shit so I can feel like I'm not alone in this situation. The curious chicken watched me and anticipated my movement. This is it. I'm leaving here with that girl, Mr. Chicken. Prepare yourself. I instantly started jetting after this chicken in hopes that I can get this dude off the element of surprise alone. But I did not account for the speed of this thing. Now I don't know if you guys have ever tried to catch a chicken, but it is much like trying to catch a crackhead. Oh, you ain't catching no crackhead. And I myself am nowhere near the fastest man alive, so this thing is just slowly wearing me out while I start to question my genetics and my manhood. I'm having a noticeably hard time and it is starting to take me way too long to catch this thing. After a while it became clear that this is not your average chicken bro like what the fuck he kept dodging me over and over and every single time that i thought i was fast enough to catch him he managed to be just a tiny bit faster i was beginning to fear that i had already failed this was no average chicken this was a fucking chicken samurai at this point i can feel the anguish disappointment and judgment bleeding off of her father and her brother but with her father especially I can tell he is seconds away from calling it quits and telling me I can never see his daughter again. So I clenched my asshole as tight as I possibly could, and from the depths of my big black chocolate beautiful soul, I leapt for that chicken and looked him straight in his face. And then, I caught him because I realized the only thing I needed to do was try harder and believe in myself. The realization instantly struck after that. I just brought myself 80% closer to killing this thing. Her parents have already established a chopping block for me to put them on the second I leave the cage with them. Things are becoming all too real for me right now and it is becoming ever so apparent inside myself that I cannot go through with this. So with the chicken in hand, I freeze. I, I literally can't move. I know if I move, I might commit. And if I commit, then our friend is dead. And I was not about to let that happen. So what was my way out? What could I possibly do to escape this situation? Her parents try talking to me, but I can't focus on what they're saying. My heart was beating so fast and so loud I could hear it in my head. With one look, her dad puts me out of my misery. Young man, did you hear what I said? I've been trying to tell you. You passed. Yo. Yo, what the f- They took me inside and told me everything was a test from the get-go. And they wanted to see if I had enough courage to get in the cage and enough drive to do what was needed. According to them, it was just a test to see if I was brave enough. As they explained, I was pretty understanding, no harm, no foul. I did, however, drive home as fast as I could and thought really hard about taking her animals with me. We never did actually get to go on real dates because her parents were still very much so a problem. So, moral of the story. 
Your parents are gonna get you dumped, dude.